I'm Natalie Ward from the Milky Mermaid, which is a lactation private practice here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And today this video is going to go over what's involved in a lactation consultation, uh, when to call a lactation consultant, and what a lactation consultant can do to help you meet your breastfeeding goals. Uh, so when you call a lactation consultant or a lactation professional in your community, um, you want to make sure that they have the proper credentials um, so that they have the education and the knowledge that they need to have to help you in any scenario that you have going on with breastfeeding. Um, that credential, IBCLC, is what that's called. Um, and you can kind of look in, and see that title on anybody's bio page on their website or anything like that. Um, and second, uh, lactation consult is awesome for moms that are having any issues with breastfeeding have concerns, um, baby isn't gaining weight, uh, we work directly with your healthcare team, um, so we do communicate with them after the consult to let them know um, baby's weight and intake weights and things like that. Uh, but we also help moms that have twins or multiples, if you've had a baby that's been in a NICU, um, if you're having to use a breast pump or a nipple shield or a supplemental nursing system, any of those tools uh, we can help teach you how to use them. Um, so anytime that you're concerned and you feel like things aren't going right with breastfeeding, that's why lactation professionals are there and we love for you to reach out to help us. Most of us are all pas super passionate about it and we've kind of been through it and that's why we do what we do. So reaching out for help is, is a huge piece of it. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, with a lactation consult, whenever you have an in-home consultation or, or you can go into an office as well, depending on where you're located and what's out there in your community, um, the first thing that the lactation consultant is going to do is talk with you and go over your medical history. Depending on how you delivered, it can actually make a difference on how baby's doing after delivery for a couple of days, um, fluid intake uh, when you were in labor. So all those things really do matter um, and that's why we kind of go over them. So after we go over the medical history, lactation consultant is going to take an initial weight with baby. So I have a scale out here just so you can kind of see what a baby weight scale looks like. And this baby weight scale goes down to two grams accuracy, which means we can see exactly how much your baby transfers while they breastfeed. So once the lactation consultant sets the scale up, we're gonna get an initial weight, which is gonna, baby's gonna be naked. This little baby is not naked because, um, well, it's not a real baby. But if this was a real baby, the, this baby would be naked with no diaper, and that just helps us to get an exact weight um, to compare to maybe the last pediatrician's weight when you're on your last pediatric appointment. Um, and then after we do that, Put the diaper on the baby because, you know, we don't want a mess <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and then we do another weight before we start a feeding. So that way we know how much the baby weighs with their diaper on. Then mom is going to attempt to breastfeed um, and kind of we kind of observe. So the lactation consultant that's there is going to kind of see how you try to latch your baby and then look at is baby sucking, is baby sustaining a suck, and make adjustments and suggestions based on how mom is trying to do it initially. Because what we want to do is help you learn how to do this on your own so that when we leave, you feel like you are more confident and able to get your baby to latch and transfer milk um, when, when we're not there. So baby's going to be weighed before we're going to start the feeding and then baby's going to be weighed again after each breast if baby takes each breast so that we know how much is the baby transferring that's the hardest thing about breastfeeding for a lot of moms is you can't see the volume you can't see how much milk your baby's getting and it's so hard for us to trust our bodies it just is and so these intake weights a lot of times will give moms the confidence to know okay my baby is actually getting enough milk from my breast and I, I'm okay. It's going to be okay. So the intake weights, that's what that involves. Um, and everything that we, we document everything and we send it over to your pediatrician within 24 hours of the consult as well. In addition to 
doing intake weights on your baby in that initial weight, we're going to help you with latching your baby. So once we can see um, during the intake weight process, because that happens kind of during while you're breastfeeding before and after, uh, we're going to see how is baby sucking? Are they sustaining a suck? Are they vigorous at the breast? Um, are, is their alignment good? Kind of see every scenario is so different, what's going on, and assess baby's mouth if it looks like that's necessary, an oral assessment with a gloved finger uh, to see where, how the palate is. Does anything anatomically seem like it's different um, or could be interfering with how baby's transferring? And then we're also going to look at and do an assessment of your breast, how your nipples look, how is that tissue, you know, if you have any breakdowns, sore nipples, talk to you about ways that we can kind of get, get you some relief um, and get those nipples to heal so that breastfeeding can be more enjoyable as well. Um, we're also going to work on showing you how to use all the things that you have in your home. And that's the great thing about having an in-home consult is that if you have if you have a nursing pillow, um, like, like this one from the Blessed Nest, if you any any pillows that you're using, we're gonna show you how to use them to make breastfeeding more comfortable and easier. Um, and it's also great if you have a support person with you. So if you're if your partner, um, if it's your mother that's helping you, a family member, if they can be around and involved in the lactation consult in some way, it's just nice to have a second set of ears and eyes to hear and see what's going on. Um, and then that way they can continue to help you when we're, when we're not there um, to kind of, if you forget something that we talked about or any of that. Uh, if you have a breast pump, we're going to show you how to use your pump. Um, take a look at your flanges to make sure they fit while we're there, if you have it on hand. Um, and we kind of just do an overall assessment of every, every single thing that has to do with the feeding. Once all that's done, we're going to come up with a plan which is gonna be like a comprehensive collaborative plan with you as a mom that you are comfortable with. And I think that having a plan is such a huge piece of the puzzle to be successful at breastfeeding, mainly because if you get home from the hospital and your milk comes in and everything changes and you don't really know what to do, having a plan to help you over the next couple of weeks as your body is acclimated to having a baby and your milk has come in and your nipples are healing. Just knowing that you have a plan in place and that you have somebody to call to follow up with if you have additional questions can really put your mind at ease and, and make you a lot less anxious about breastfeeding. And I think that anxiety, if you have it from breast, breastfeeding, it can make that bonding emotional experience with your baby not near as enjoyable. So let us come and help you. If you know somebody, um, there's support groups in your area as well. A uh, lactation consultant often can give you that information so that that way, there's, if there's free options out there, that's a huge piece of it, peer-to-peer, mom-to-mom support. Knowing people are going through it with you is, um, can make, just make a huge difference. No matter what, don't be afraid to ask for support and to ask for help and to get questions answered. Um, I promise it gets easier. You're doing an awesome job. Hang in there.